and you found us deep in the redwood forest on the west coast of the United States of America. We're in a little town um, outside of Sonoma. Yes, we are, and we are at the Armstrong National Redwood Forest. Yeah, because we're here for the Heirloom Expo, so we thought for the first day around, we would just kind of show you some of the things that we've been doing um, on our trip so far. So one of the first things we did, of course, we landed in San Francisco, and we did a little time around there, kind of seeing the town, doing the touristy stuff. A lot of stuff we've done in the past, we've been to Alcatraz, the Golden Gate Bridge, the Ford Under the Bridge. So this time we thought we would just kind of walk around. Cool places that I just, you know, they're just really unique things that were really fun. Yeah, so what, what were the two things that you wanted to do? Well, I wanted to go to the Fortune Cookie Factory in Chinatown. Yeah. And then the other one that... You would think that this big Fortune Factory was like some big thing and then you would go there. But when we went inside there, it was like this little bitty narrow place on the back alley of Chinatown. And inside there were a couple of ladies and they were sitting at this machine and the, the food would come out, the cookie would come out, it would be heated. This plate would open up, she would pick off the cookie, wrap it up, like bend it and fold it. And, and it's then, like a little pancake. A yeah, very big, yeah, right was, past her was like a little squirter machine would squirt new, um, what is it, what would you call it, pancake batter or batter? Dough, yeah, yeah cookie ba dough. Yeah, batter into this little uh, thing and then it would go through this whole kiln system again. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So that was really kind of fun. I'm glad we did that. And then the other thing that we did that I loved, it was so amazing. We went to a like antique mechanical. Um, yeah, it was like a vending machine place. So yeah, inside of this place was all of these cool old vending machines that were still operational. They're probably from the 1800s, night early 1900s. I mean, and they all worked. It was so amazing. All the old ones, and it, it was really that was that was my favorite thing. Yeah, we saw a lot of the puppets on strings. You put the quarter, and they would dance. We did the one was uh, the square dancing, wasn't it? Yeah, there was a lot of musical ones. The piano, they yeah. had like boxing ones, and then there was the old time photographs you could take. Yeah, and we there took was some old time some, photos. Even the old uh, like they had actual villages and yeah. things like, like whole working right. setups. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty cool. And there were some kind of like crazy ones, like more. Yeah, ones. like the <laughs> what was it? The they had a hanging. Man? They had yeah. a hanging one. Yeah, that was crazy. But it was really. Wonderful. I what about the it. laughing? The what was her name? Laughing Sal. Laughing Sal. I think that was her name. Yeah. Doing stuff. And apparently that machine has been around for a long time. Very long time. It's been around there in San Francisco. Yeah, everybody knows her. Yeah, so. it's pretty funny. And you can hear her laughing outside, out even out into the area there at the wharf. So we did all the fishermen's wharf stuff. We actually stayed right down there too. And uh, so that was pretty cool. But now we're in the Redwood Forest. This is one of the oldest and most complex. Um, Ecosystem. Micro, eco, yeah, I, ecosystems in the world. And so we thought we'd take you guys along, show you some of the sites in here, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying it. We're a little bit more at home here. <laughs> yeah, it's a little more quiet. Yeah. This is the kind of congestion we like to be around. Right, this is perfect. Listening to the trees and the wind, it's perfect. This is beautiful. And it, the thing is, is that people always tell you that you cannot get the gist of how, how big, it big is. these are yeah. on camera or the pictures but when you're actually like next to them it's amazing and then they're so tall I mean it's pretty cool when we were at the Armstrong tree that one was you know like over 1400 years old and over 300 foot tall so it's pretty neat and then we, we also after we saw the trees here we went up to the very top of this area and you can look down over the valley and everything so that was really cool they have a lot of hiking trails here so if you're ever in this area it might be something that you put aside a day uh, just to come hike the trails you know enjoy the scenery and the nature it's very quiet and it's very awe-inspiring to see all these trees i mean this tree right here they had to cut because it's along the path and you know i'm like six foot four six foot five and this tree is laying on its side and it's up to my chest so 
just gives you, and this is a small tree relatively to all the other trees that are in the area. And it, what's so cool, I think, you know, they all are working together. Like you're talking yeah. about an ecosystem. So it's so cool because their roots, they have shallower roots and they just all connect. And that's what makes them so strong and powerful. Their community together. Yeah. makes them strong. Yeah. So that, right. I love it. This is great. It is so beautiful and peaceful here. So we're enjoying our day. Yeah, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the video as well. Once we left the Redwood Forest, we actually found out that they had a zip line course that was close. Uh, and in the Redwood Forest, we'd never done that before. It was fun. Yeah, we had done that one time in Alaska, but this was pretty cool because we were going to go over the tops. It was a treetop. So we went over the tops and it was long, 1,500 feet. Yeah, they had one zip line was actually 1,500 feet long. And I gained up some pretty good speed on that one. He was coming so fast. We were standing there because I went first. And then he was coming so fast. It looked like a bullet coming at us. And then the girl who was in charge, she like put the brake on really quick. And then he had stopped because he was flying. It was yeah. so funny. It had a spiral staircase and some suspension bridges. So it was pretty cool. So we always like to try to do some things, you know, that are uh, physically challenging. And we marked that off our list. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. What a great time we had at the Redwoods. So much fun, interesting things that we learned, cool things doing the zip lining. That was really a good time. After we left there, then we found the coolest street in America. Florence? Yeah, it was, it was on, on Florence, Florence Avenue. And it was so unique. They had done like recycled art, you know, trash cans, different things, tools, cans, you know, whatever they could do. And they made the most incredible little statues, sculptures, and every single house on this whole street had them in their yard.
was amazing. It was very eclectic. It was a wide range from um, cartoon superheroes all the way to mermaids um, and even waitresses. So it was really cool. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Yes, it was just really a lot of fun taking a lot of cool pictures. And now we're at the um, Heirloom Expo in Santa Rosa, California, where we're going to be bringing you guys some of the sights and sounds of the expo. So stay tuned for those videos. Make sure you smash that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you've been to Florence Avenue um, or if you just want to say hi. We really appreciate you guys engaging with our channel, and that's why we pick Homestead Homies of the Month. Yeah, every um, month. Stay tuned. We'll tell you who won uh, for August. Um, and we'll also be picking winners at the end of this month. And it's just for people that share our videos, engage in the comment section, check us out on Facebook, leave some comments over there. Instagram, I mean, anywhere. Yeah, just Any a kind Homestead Homies, yeah. just someone that's uh, engaged with our channel, Come following our adventure, and hanging out with us. So we'll see you guys uh, in a little bit, and thanks for watching. See ya. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a Homestead Homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will see you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.